everyone. We're going to evaluate the limit if it exists. Now basically if you plug in zero here, um, you'll get uh, undefined. So that means the limit would not exist. But we need to simplify our numerator to see if we can find the limit that way. So we're going to take the limit as h approaches zero. And what I'm going to look at is this has this form. We also have a 2 in there. So we're going to look at this form where is our a equals 2 and our b equals um, h. So when you write that out, you're going to get 8 plus 12h plus 6h squared plus h cubed minus 8, all divided by h. And again, I just use that formula. Now what's going to happen is these 8's will cancel, so I can have the limit as h approaches 0 of 12h plus 6h squared plus h cubed divided by h. So this equals I'm going to factor out an h. If you factor out an h, you'll get the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 12 plus 6h plus h squared divided by h. Okay, so now that uh, h's will cancel, you're going to end up getting um, the limit as h approaches 0 of 12 plus 6h plus h squared. Now if you want, you could go ahead and use your sum and difference law, but it's just as easy since we've been doing this a while just to plug in the zeros into the h's. So you're going to get with the limit as h approaches 0 of 12 plus 6, and I'm using uh, the constant multiple law, 6 times the limit as h approaches 0 of h plus the limit as h approaches 0 of h squared. Now plug in your 0, so this one is based off this number 6, that's just going to be 12 plus 6 times 0 plus 0 squared, which equals 12. And that's your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.